Hey everybody, welcome to Maze. This is a game you get on Steam. It is $19.99. Uh, the devs were kind enough to send me a key. Thank you so much. Maze is a first-person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the U.S. government and create sentient corn. <laughs> and that last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. I think it looks really good. Uh, yeah, so let's just check it out. Boop. Yeah, how you doing, everybody? You doing good? I'm doing good. I'm excited to play this. I, I really have been looking forward to this since early 2016. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually getting to record it a day before it comes out. I can't post the video yet because uh, of a review embargo. I'm gonna have to play that backwards to see what it says. Hey, corn buddies. Okay. Very bloomy. Which is alright. I like it. I can dig it. Get that a little closer. There we go. This game looks really good. And it actually feels good, too. Like, it actually plays really well. Like, I've only been walking so far, but I'm, I don't know. The three games that I played yesterday, they controlled, like, absolute butthole. So now I'm playing a game that, like, it, like feels competent. It's pretty exciting. Look at all, look at these light shafts. Yeah! I can sprint, no jumping. Uh, that's crouch. What? Hello. Uh, when the pointing hand icon appears, okay. Then so you get three items to get into the thing. Gotcha. So the house is this way. Cool. Escape, repeat, enter, pause menu. Okay. So, are these corns around me not sentient? This is kind of like a maze, too. Because it's spelled maze. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. Cool. Nice. Like, they have a sense of humor. Yeah, but the game is spelled maze as in like corn, but it's also a maze game. La 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 la. Hello. Thank you. Item added to folio. Is that. I have an English muffin. Uh, hard as granite, this muffin is, uh, most definitely no, uh, nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. <laughs> All you've done is given yourself a headache. Okay. So it said it gave me a thing. That's crouch. Q does nothing. E was examine in my hand. Okay, well, I picked up a note. I just don't know how to read it. Yep, got it. So, I'm gonna go over here for a second, but I do want to go up to the house. I want to see what's up there. Uh, I'm guessing I have to do something to move these. Because before there were boxes lined up before, but until I got the English muffin. Muffin? How you doing, everybody? You doing good? I'm doing good. I've been on a uh, recording spree, 
I'm going to visit some friends out of town. Oh, it's space bar, of course. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock reading and encourages the readers to enjoy a complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the uh, reader to mind the boxes and also open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Okay. I'm going out. I'm going out of town uh, from Saturday to. Uh, I forgot when I come back, so I have to get a bunch of videos ready in time. So I've been on a bit of a recording spree. All right, so the barn goes that way. Gotcha. Are you a thing? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. When you use an item. Okay, so I need to find a key. Is there a back door? Look at this sweet ass ride. Can I take a brick? No. Can't go that way. No, can't do that. I tried to jump with space, but that's not a thing. Okay, I'll come back to you later once I find the key. So I wonder how big this game is. Like, I wonder, like, how big the map is. Yeah, got it. Hey! There we go. I have English muffin and key. Um, anything else over here? Okay. Uh, let's go try the key on the front door. And we'll explore the house. Yeah! Oh, I like that little, that little ding. Makes me happy. Alright, can't see shit. Uh, two out of 75 notes? Are you fucking serious? An, inv an invoice uh, for a commissioned wood statue. Uh, cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the uh, list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of an oak tree, and hospital bills for injury sustained chopping down oak tree. Nice. I do like that they have a sense of humor. Let's see, there was a grinder in the kitchen somewhere. Hey, you got a fruit crate. And... Rancid corn oil. Uh, something is jammed inside. Alright, so I need to fix that with something. Look at all this food! <laughs> you can do this forever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know, I, I, I love it. The cheekiness of it. I can't open that. Old sink. Ooh, bathtub drain. Sink is now plugged. Uh, poured rancid corn oil in the sink. The smell is worse than imagined. I don't know why I did all that. Nail clippers? I don't know why I did that. So I'll come back later when I have some more stuff. Maybe I'm going to find something that's like rusty? Weird. This game's fucking weird. I love it. Hey, parrot. Bobby pin. Nice. Maybe I can use that to like pick a lock later or hold my hair back. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm just really confused. Uh, nothing in here. Okay, I guess I'll 
leave and come back later. I'm so confused. Why did I do that? I can't jump. I keep trying to jump. Alright. I'll come back later. Let's go find some more items. Uh, there was something past the chicken coop back here. I haven't played like an actual like adventure game that I enjoyed in a long time. Like it's been a while. The last couple of horror games I played have been like pseudo adventure games of man. Ooh boy. Like hunted one step too far. I can't get over that game. That was awful. Now how many times you press a Q still does nothing. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so you need to find like hammer. Uh, this rock was you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> Alright, so the rusty nail in there. If I need a hammer, probably, to rip it out. I wonder if I can use the uh, oil to unrust it? Like, would that make sense? Also looking at the capture. This game looks really good! Like, I am, I am very, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, but there are a lot of boxes this way, so I can't go that way yet. Oh, I didn't notice the statue. Okay. Look at this magnanimous motherfucker. Yeah, buddy. Looking great. Alright, nothing around there. Nothing behind him. But box is that way, so I guess I have to go back this way. Kind of backtrack a little bit. Yeah, do you guys have any recommendations uh, for games I should play? Like, uh, I've been like so sick and busy lately that like I've kind of fallen out of the loop. I know I need to play Araya, or Aria, or however you pronounce it. I don't know if there's like anything else that came out recently that I need to play. I'm also going to be playing the uh, bathroom demo. I might actually have that up before this. Maybe after. I don't know. I've known about the bathroom demo for a while, but the first time I tried to play it, it was just totally broken. And this is a dead end. But apparently there's a new version out that actually works. So that's pretty cool. My nose is itchy. Really useless uh, for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you want to tip something over. Haha. -ha. All right, so that sounds like the wobbly dresser or wardrobe upstairs. Boop. Fuck you. Ooh, going up to the attic. Okay. Oh, this game's huge. This game is fucking massive. Alright. I can dig it. I like it. Uh, much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, got a mallet. Item can be placed here. I don't really think I have anything put down. Uh, smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool. Remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. Clever. All right, so I need to find something I can like. I need to smash down. I can do that nail. That's the only thing I really think of. Nope, wrong button. Uh, vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall. Oh! Or give you 100% tetanus guaranteed. That's it. Let's see, can I use you to get this out? All right, let's go to the outhouse really quick. 
and see if I can uh, use the nail clippers to rip it out. Like, th like they're kind of giving subtle hints as to what the items do. All right, come here, you. Boom, rusty nail. Uh, for some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be good to conduct, a, be a good conductor of electricity, possibly a fuse. You are very strange. All right, so you find a fuse box. Oh. Uh, having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. That sounds amazing. Let's see. I don't think... Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> All right, uh, Mike, let's cut to whenever I make progress. Oh. Uh, unlock secret door, making it much less secret. Hey, I found something. There we go. There was a little switch. Aha. Use rust nails as a fuse. Boom, restored power to the farmhouse. Yeah! Wonderful, look at that. Okay, now I bet there's gonna be stuff upstairs that I can see. Um. There we go. Wonderful. Look at this dapper motherfucker. I actually found that pretty quick. Uh, after I said, or told, my, told myself to make the cut. CD player, top secret. Uh, the barn in the silo, nice. Awesome, let's keep looking around though. Oh hey, it's a, like a, a mix of a, it's a Batari. It's a mix of like Atari, Nintendo, N64, Awesome. All right, uh, nothing in here. Let's go upstairs one more time, look around. I don't think I have anything for up here though. The only thing I can do is this, and I don't know what that that is. Maybe like a key that's bent, so I have to use the mallet to flatten it out. All right. Let's go check out the silo. Random corn stock, hello. Uh, last episode, we cleared out the house. Now we're going to the barn and silo, I believe. Yeah, uh, this game's about sentient corn, although I have yet to see any, except for in the very beginning. Uh, so basically the game is going around finding items and trying to figure out their use. Which I'm actually okay with. I think, I don't know, this has been a lot of fun so far. It's very clever. It has a great sense of humor. Corn of the World. A book outlining the difference and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few uh, species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appear in many places across the entire book in blue pen. So I wonder how long until I figure out that I am sentient corn. Is that gonna be like the big reveal? Is that I was corn all along? <laughs> Here we go, got a broom. So I'm making a scarecrow? Uh, a diagram torn in half contains a very complicated looking equation scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Hello. Mr. Get Pumped. 
Um, all right, so I got a broom out of all this. I have a top, I have an old CD that says top secret, a mallet, and a bobby pin, and an English muffin. Uh, let's check around the back of the barn. Okay, so there's another path back there. Ooh, maybe we can make it to the silo. I know that path is open. Power is that way. I'll go there in a second. Hey, uh, bobby pin. Whoop! Yeah! Fuck you! You shiny lock. Okay. Uh, manufactured about a century ago, the telescope, or this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. <laughs> Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Okay. Uh, though it's hard to make out, the blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large, very poorly planned facility <laughs> with a farm situated on top of it. Uh, the facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Awesome. Uh, it's actually didn't get an item out of this. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm sure this path is just going to be blocked. We'll try it anyways. This one goes to like the lightning bolt looking area. Stop pressing Q. Shut up. Do what I want. Oh. Hello, corn. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head, as you have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name, Fernando. Uh, cloved severed hand. Severed hand, perfectly uh, preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you give your give yourself a hand and fi okay, find a way to loosen it, get that glove off. The first, okay. Uh, if you took several hours staring at it, but you, it took several hours of staring at it, but you managed to deduce the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and it's and his name is Fernando. Uh, it took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and then five more minutes to realize that you were trying to read this thing upside down the whole time. <laughs> so our person that we're playing as apparently is really, really dumb. But... It said if I could find a way to loosen the hand out of the glove. Well, I have a sink full of oil back of the house. That's empty. So that could be it. Uh, before we go back to the house, let's check over here. Okay, can't go that way. Wait, what? It's like all foggy back there. Okay, let's go back to the house and uh, dump that hand in the oil, I assume. I also need to figure out what to do with the broom. I could try to sweep up in that silo. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the, the puzzles in this game, I, I don't know, I've, I found them rather enjoyable. I did expect there to be more, like, corn running around, though. Bloop! Okay, got a separate- oh, that's for the handprint! Still can't get that open, okay. So, uh, I'm trying to get into this underground research facility. Okay.
Uh, but you need like a, like the CD, the hand, and something else. Okay, so that way it's still blocked. Let's try to use the broom at the silo to sweep up in that one room where it gets telescope. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Is there anything this way? Nope. Alright. God, my... My phone is blowing up. Don't you guys know I'm recording a game about sentient corn? There we go. Pliers! Now I go back to the house. Now I can use the pliers to rip the thing out of the grinder. Uh, you saw something in that sausage grinder. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. So the something's in it. And then I better use the mallet on the thing that's in the grinder upstairs in the house. I got this. Easy. So easy. I love it. <laughs> and like I said, the puzzles I, I have found very enjoyable. And like, I like the scenery. The game looks good. actually plays really well. Has a nice sense of humor. Yeah, I like this game. And like, I know the people are going to, like, I'm sure I'm going to get a comment being like, you're only saying that because you got it for free. It's like, no, I actually am enjoying myself right now. This is a good game. What am I doing? Here we go. Uh, what does that say? Warped key fob? Now I go up here. Boop. Grab the mallet, and bam. Okay. Uh, the key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you, you can't help but toss it like a frisbee. See how far it goes. Regret your decision immediately. Um. Well, now I'm stumped. Let's go back to the... It didn't say I opened up anything else, did it? Let's check to see if the boxes are still here. The box is still there. All right. Let's go back to the door we're trying to open. Because I know I can use the hand on it. Is this anything? That was a dead end. Alright. Also, uh, have you guys ever done a corn maze? A corn maze? I've never done one. I've always wanted to. It seems creepy. Boom. Now let's put the CD. There we go. Must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every man. time? Oh, I did been a vote clear on the election. Oh, we should be happy with that. <coughs> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. <laughs> 